All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Small Land. My name is Blonde Don, and thank you guys so much for being here as usual. Today we're jumping back in. It's been a little while, actually, since this one released and since I've been able to jump back in. And uh, so I'm really excited to, to get going here and do some exploring. I know there's been some updates. I know there's been some changes. And um, I still have no clue what I'm doing, so it's going to be a fun one. Uh, <laughs> so, like I was saying, I don't really remember where we left off but i know we got this nice little home built and that's all that really matters um today we're gonna try and get some armor we're gonna try and get some upgraded weapons and tools things like that um so i think uh, we should just start heading uh heading down to the bottom of the tree or the root level and um figure out our next move so the first thing i want to do while i'm down here is just get some wooden fiber because i do want to actually craft a uh, bow and some arrows Ooh. um and now Good timing, uh, little ant. Because everything in this world wants to attack me, and um, I'm not very good at defending myself at times, I'm thinking about turning on what's called peaceful mode, which would basically kind of set everything to a bit more passive unless I attack the creatures themselves. Then they'll start attacking me. Um, we'll see how this episode goes. If it's completely unbearable, then I might turn that on, but... Uh, for now, I think I'll be okay. I think I just have to get the right weapons, and I, I need the right tools and the right armor in order to defend myself a little bit better. All right, so what I want to do now is let's um, actually craft a workbench. Should be able to put that just about anywhere. Yep. And let's put it on kind of a nice little perch here in the end. Okay, let's see what we can uh, craft. Do we have enough for the bow? No, we don't. So we need a little bit more wood and a little bit more fiber. And then for the arrows, we need the same stuff. So let's just go collect those up and um, then we'll craft up the bow and arrows. Now, I know somewhere here out in these small lands, there is some flint, which is uh, what I believe is necessary to upgrade some of our tools, including the axe that we're using. And then, um, of course, probably some more melee weapons. Um, so I think that's probably our big goal today. I think our overarching goal for the most part is just exploration. Um, it's probably one of my favorite things to do in these types of worlds. So obviously we're going to do some exploration, but at the same time, we are going to have another secondary objective of making a little bit better tools so we can defend ourselves. All right, guys, so I should have more than enough uh, materials to make the bow and arrow. And the thing is, I traveled a little bit far away from my workbench. But the, the other thing is that it's super cheap to make. And now I'm just going to have a bunch of workbenches in these nice scenic places. So it's kind of a win-win. All right, let's check it out. So we can make the bow. So boom, just like that, that is made. Um, let's put that up in the hot bar here. And then let's make some arrows. How much does it make in one hit? Okay, so it makes 10. So we can make a bunch. And just like that, we have a hundred arrows. That's so good. Okay, so that I think we need to load up in here. Yes, okay, so that's good. And then I think that's kind of it. And then we should be able to use them. Let's take a quick practice shot on this. Okay, that's not bad. It's gonna be interesting. Can we get this back? Um, looks like I lost it. Okay, well, while we're here, um, we've got a hatchet for this, so let's, uh, chop down this mushroom. And the really nice thing about the mushrooms is that we can cook them up, or we can eat them raw. But if we cook them up, they are, uh, they give us a decent amount of nourishment. And plus, it's super easy to cook them up. All right, let's get moving here. So let's check out this map, actually. So we ended the last episode all the way down here. We had just seen the rhino beetle after we were chased by, I think, a hundred other things, and we lost our little ladybug friend uh, slash mobile backpack. But um, I don't know, maybe... I don't know if it's unrealistic to put potentially go after the rhino beetle this episode. I guess we'll figure that out. Um, but yeah, I want to find some flint. I think that's down on the beach. I just don't remember where at on the beach. Oh yeah, and then also if you saw my original episode on this, I was wondering what in the world this was. It was just a marker that I had added accidentally. <laughs> and I thought it was some kind of thing that we were supposed to find on the map. Uh, but anyway, let's, I guess, head down towards the beach and um, see what kind of nonsense we can get into and and uh, hopefully hopefully get get some flint i guess ooh there's a little cave system underneath this tree I might have to go through there at some point i see a big old bug guarding it right now so I'm not going to worry about it. I just want to get to that beach and see if we can get some of that flint oh, and you know what guys before we get there we're going to need a pickaxe Ooh, okay, hold on. We actually need to kill some of these bull ants because we need that bull ant mandible in order to craft a pickaxe. I totally forgot about that. 
Um, let's see if we can find any of them. We normally run up on them on accident, so I can't imagine they're going to be too far away at any given time. I think I see one right over there. I think one of those guys should give us one if we kill them. Okay, so let me... I'll take out our bow. This will get us... Uh, this will give us a little chance to injure them before we have to fight them head on because these guys are quick. I'm only going to be able to get a few shots in before they attack. He's already coming towards us. Ooh, that was a good hit, though. Come on, where you at, buddy? Ooh, there was a good one. Oh, I don't want to hurt myself. Okay, let's get up here really quick. Come on. One more. Should be able to do one more here. Got him. Okay, let's see if we got anything out of it. <gasps> we got the mandibles. We got two of them, actually. Oh, beautiful. Okay, let's go craft our pickaxe. Oh, that was super easy. All right, I might have been worried about nothing there. All right, perfect. And then I guess while we're here, let's just make a wood sword. That'll do like uh, sharp damage on some of these guys, uh, which is uh, depending on the insects that we come up against. Some of them are more vulnerable to like blunt damage, like the uh, wooden club that I currently have. And some are more vulnerable to to sharp things like a sword or even piercing. I think the the bull ant was vulnerable to piercing, which is why we were able to take him down a lot easier with the. Uh... Oh come on, guys! Leave me alone with the bow and arrow. Oh, these guys are pushing me right into the bees. Oh, I hope I can get down from this tree. Are they following me? No, he stopped. Okay, uh, but there's a beehive I think right here or a wasp's nest. I don't know, one of the two. Oh, there's some ladybugs up here, but... Ooh, um... It's about to storm, and I am in dangerous territory right now. Okay, guys, um, I slept through the night. We made it down to the beach here, but oh my goodness, I'm getting... I don't know how I made it down here alive, but then we've got this guy right here. I'm gonna try and get around. Oh, and there's more bees down here, too. Uh, what is this? Oh. Something died over here. Poison dart, poison arrow, poison mace. Oh my goodness. So let me let me double check the map here. So we're on part of the beach. Well, we're on the stone area. I guess the beach would be down here. Let's go check it out really quick. Oh yes. Okay, so those dark nodes down there, they kind of look like dark stones. Uh, those, I believe, are flint. So if we can get down there, and if we're able to use our pickaxe without dying, then um, we might come out ahead. We might be able to make some new tools this episode and... Um, then I think after this, I think we get some armor. <laughs> I think we get some armor because we're struggling right now. We just gotta find a way down. So give me a second and let me uh, let me try and figure that out. Okay, guys. Um, I'm not currently being attacked, but that does not mean I'm safe. I'm currently surrounded. He's just around the corner, but there's another big bug over there. I see a massive bug over there, and then of course we've got the gecko right there. Um, but look at all these nodes. Let me get my pickaxe out and let me try and do this safely. Yeah, look at that guy. Oops. Okay, hopefully they can't hear me chopping away at this thing. Okay. So we got a little bit, but I want to get as much as we can. Hopefully I don't get too greedy here. Oh, we got, we got the gecko on us. Okay, um, this is a difficult task. I, I knew it was going to be pretty difficult, but man, it's there, there's no area that's not being protected by something, which means we need to kill one of these guys. Um, so I guess maybe I try and kill one of these geckos with my bow and arrow. I don't know if that's one of their weaknesses or not, but um, I mean, we don't really have a choice. We have to start with some kind of distance in between us. Let me see if I can hit this guy from here. I'm having, <laughs> I'm having troubles finding a way down. So let me see if I can get him to come up here, maybe. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, there I hit him. But he doesn't know where it came from. Oh, that's good. Ooh. No, 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 no. Come back over here, buddy. Oh, he just ran away. Um, is there another one maybe I can go after? There's this guy. Oh my gosh, he found me. He knew where I was at. Oh. 
Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Here, let's try and heal up. That's where he went. He somehow found me from all the way up there. Oh my goodness. Well, now that he's on his way back down, let's try and get some flint really quick. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Oh, no, 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 no. One more. Got him. Oh my goodness. That thing is an absolute beast. Holy. Okay, we unlocked some things and I picked up some things. I picked up bones and then something else. I don't know what it was. I don't want to spend too much time in here in my inventory because it is not safe out here. Let's just get our pickaxe out and let's uh, hit some more flint and let's get the heck out of here. Oh, I feel so much better. I know there's still like massive beetles and stuff around us, but for the most part, killing that one gecko has uh, enabled us to at least have a little bit of a safety here in this area. Now, if we go any further outside of this area, we're going to be in trouble, but I think we're okay right now. Okay, you know what? While we're down here, let's just put a workbench down and see what we can do with it really quick. So we did un unlock some poison stuff from some of the poison glands that we picked up. But I think that's as far as it goes on the workbench itself. Um, we would need to craft the stone cutter, I believe, which I don't have the stuff for. I need 10 stones. Oh, maybe I should um, loot up on stones while I'm here. Let's make that stone cutter. Ooh. Cauldron, apothecary table, tannery, and a covered bed. So we can make bricks now, seed oil, refined wood, flint hatchet, flint spear. Oh my goodness, so many different things. But the thing is, we need refined wood. But I think to make refined wood, we need some seed oil. Is that right? Yeah, it looks like it. So I guess let's just make a ton really quick. Okay, so now we can make... Oh, we need more wood. Okay, let's go and get some wood, and then I can make the pickaxe. And then we'll be able to actually hit these pieces of bark. I think this is bark. But we'll be able to hit those with a flint pickaxe and um, get a lot more wood that way. So let me go do that and um, we'll be right back. Okay, it is raining, but I think we're okay. But I did just make the flint pickaxe. Let me drop my current one. Alright, let's chop the... Yes, it is bark. Okay. Boom, just like that. Ooh, we unlocked some more uh, structures. Uh, wood foundations and floors. Oh, there we go. We're going to have some fun building this episode. Okay, some more floors and wood pillars. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay, so I guess I, I was thinking this bark would give us wood, but apparently it's giving us uh, bark, which makes sense. But I did not uh, not think that we could get bark, so I'm guessing that's used in the structures and, and all these other things. All right, guys, so this is what I'm thinking about doing. and I, I think I've got quite enough materials right now, at least for the time being. Um, I say we go up to the top of our tree and um, we do a little bit more crafting. I need to pick up some resin. That's actually what's limiting me from building any or from crafting anything further. Um, so I'll do that on the way back and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so I just did something what I think is really cool. It's the fact that you can actually change trees whenever you want to in this world. And all I had to do is I just had to get to the new tree. I climbed all the way to the top, but I don't think I need to. Um, I think I could have just requested that the, uh, the balloon guy come all the way down to the, the bottom of the tree. Um, but then you just got to talk to the gnome right here and you claim the tree as your own. And it moves everything, your entire base and everything in it, including all the storage all the way over to this new tree and I think that's just super cool. So we were over here at this tree. Um, I know it doesn't look like it on the map, uh, but there is a tree there. And then we moved all the way to this one here. So now anytime that we die, we will spawn at this tree. Um, I just think that's really cool. All right, so um, let's actually, I thought I had storage here, but I guess I didn't. Um, I guess let's build some storage. Now, let's just put these outside because I don't think they need to be inside. I might be wrong about that. Let me put one right there. 
And it doesn't hold a ton. Maybe there's other ones that we can eventually craft, but I'm not too worried about it right now. What I do want to do is craft this stone cutter. Now, do I... I don't think I'm going to take up space inside with it. I might as well keep this outside. Um, let's check this out. So let's make the flint hatchet for sure. And I'm thinking maybe the flint sword. I think that's really going to help us out. But we need some more resin and some refined wood. The refined wood I think we can make really quick. Yeah, we just need a couple more resin, which shouldn't be hard to get. And the really cool thing about this world is the repairing. As long as your weapons and armor aren't below like a certain point, I think you can lose up to 25% of your armor and then you can repair it for free. But obviously, I completely lost all of the protection in my armor because I got absolutely annihilated quite a bit. But I think um, I can repair some of these. So this one does cost flint, but we had uh, about 15 and this will cost some. But you see, like, right here, the, the wooden sword, I don't know how far damage it is. You can see right here there's a little gap. Um, but I can do it completely free, which is super nice. And to repair these, I need fiber, which I don't have any left. Oh, my goodness. I got drained. All right, guys. So we got some more resin here. And um, let's see what else we can make. We've got the hatchet. We've got the pickaxe. And so I think we make probably the sword. Oh, there's a blowgun. Hollow tube made of bark used to fire darts. The weapon of an assassin. Silent but deadly. All right, but what kind of ammo does that take? I don't know if we can make that in here yet, can we? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's just stick with the sword for now. And I think we used up pretty much all of our flint that we got. Yeah, we're only down to four now, which is unfortunate, but um, that's okay. Uh, we've got the sword, so let's swap that out for the the wooden one. And I'll throw I'll throw some of our primitive tools in this storage for now. Because you never know when I might get set back a little bit and may need some uh, some basic tools. Okay, you know what? Since we're here, I think the sun might be going down soon. Um, I kind of want to try and upgrade the foundations of the base. Eventually, I'll expand on this, and we're going to see uh, what kind of cool things we can make with it. But I just want to upgrade the foundations and see what that looks like here. I'm not sure how we do it exactly. I wonder if we just have to dismantle it first. Okay, it looks like we can place a foundation here. I don't know if that, like, places it over top of it, where the, the grass foundation is still there, or if it just replaces it. I guess we'll try it. Um... I'm honestly not sure because it looks like it's still got like kind of the grass part of the, the foundation. In. I'm not sure. Let's um, actually do a little test. Let's get rid of this and then we'll place this here. And let's check it out down here really quick. Uh, oh, yeah, you can still see the grass foundation legs in this. So I guess I just there's two foundations there. Uh, does that make it a little bit extra strong? I'm not 100% certain. But I think... <laughs> I think for the uh, sake of aesthetics, let's get see if we can get rid of the grass foundation here. Okay, there we go. That's what it looks like without the grass foundations there. Okay. Oh, that looks pretty cool. It's like little trees holding it up. Now, the thing is, is since I don't really know how to upgrade directly from grass to, to wood without just destroying it. I'm wondering if we're going to lose the stuff that's sitting on top if we dismantle. Let's um, let's try it here. Shoot, yeah, um, okay. We get some supplies back from it, but I'm just gonna have to, I guess, move some stuff around. Maybe we take this opportunity to maybe make some changes really quick. I'm gonna make some changes to the base here and um, just nothing crazy, but I just wanna see uh, see what can be done here. guys so it's a little bit dark because it's raining and i think it's currently nighttime because i accidentally slept a little bit while i was trying to uh, upgrade the base um but it turned out pretty cool i really really like the aesthetics of the wood walls and everything and i upgraded the door the wood door is this cool uh much more like circular shaped door which um i think just looks so cool but yeah and then i added a little bit of a, a rounded porch out here 
and uh, some wooden stairs. And I ended up keeping the storage box and the stone cutter underneath the um, underneath the base. I think it just gives a little bit of shelter for them, and uh, I think it just looks kind of nice. So yeah, I didn't actually plan on doing all these upgrades, but I think it looks pretty decent so far. So I think the next step here is to head out and put some armor on. I'm thinking we go to, I think it's Kalev over here. That'll give us stone armor and um, that might slow us down, but I'm hoping that it'll at least give us some decent armor. Um, I'm not 100% certain, but uh, I guess there's only one way to find out. Maybe we'll end up hitting up all three people so far that we know that can make us armor, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, I'm getting close, but I found some garlic and I'm pretty sure I can use that for some things. Uh, looks like we can make a pixie omelet. Uh, but I thought there was more to it. I'm sure there are. Oh, yeah, here we go. Garlic pudding at the cauldron, which we have yet to craft. Yeah, we're going to have to do that as well when we get back. So I'm going to try and stock up on these quick. And uh, we I'm pretty sure the guy that we need to find is like right up here somewhere. All right, here we are. I found you, Caleb. All right, so looks like he's probably got some stone armor. Is that right? Yeah, he said it's made of rocks he found in the mine. It's incredibly durable and provides great protection against creatures you may encounter in the shore. Okay, speaking of which, Skadia has also fashioned some remarkable armor using resources from that area. Okay, so if I want to head over to the shore, it sounds like right now my best armor set is going to be the stone one. So let me see which ones I can make. Ooh, so I only have eight stone right now, so I can really only make one thing. But basically... Here, let's just make this stone mask quick and let's put that on. Okay. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, and then let's go find some stone here really quick and then um, we'll come back and make the rest. All right, guys, I don't know what the deal is, but for some reason, I can't take off my pants and put on the stone greaves. I crafted them, but for some reason, I can't even take them off. It's, it, I can't even select it. Everything else I can. You can see it highlights, but for some reason, it's I can't take off my pants. Um, I might have to reload here to get that squared away. Um, and then the last thing I need to buy, I think... I think is the stone breast, which means I need more fiber. I wonder if I can, can I break down? I don't know if I can break down my traveler's gauntlets. All right, guys, I should have everything I need. I got the issue with the pants fixed. And there we go, we finally got the breast armor. And of course we do that right as a storm is approaching, but let me put that on really quick. Um, so we should have some pretty decent armor here. I don't know if there's a spot that specifically says the overall or we just have to look at each protection it gives us under each piece of armor. I'm not sure, but um, we got the full set. So that's all that matters. But um, now we need to find find a way home. I'm going to try and run home really quick and um, wait out the storm. All right, guys, we're back. The storm just broke and um, I'm just going to wait it out in here and hang out next to our cozy campfire. Oh, you know what? Let's see here. Let's um, let's repair everything we can. And it looks like everything was free because it wasn't damaged enough. Okay, so the storm is over. I had to move a few things around because apparently when I put the foundation down over top of the stone cutter and the storage boxes, it did not let me access those two things anymore. I don't love the spot of the stone cutter right now, but oh, I guarantee you at some point this is all going to change. We're going to have an entirely new base at some point because there's so many building options right now. And um, I think we can get really creative with it all. Um, but for now, let's see what we can build. Hold on. We've got some some new things here. We've got the apothecary table. Uh, it's a station for toiling at creating potions to replenish and cure the body. And then we've got the cauldron, which is a heated stone pot over a blazing fire to cook hearty meals. And what else? The tannery, somewhere to refine hides into sturdy materials for advanced crafting. And then we do have a covered bed as well, I guess. And then the option for a wooden chest. I'm wondering if this is actually... Oh, okay, it has medium capacity. So let's, um, let's just try and build this really quick and just see what this looks like on the inside. Put it right there. Check it out. Oh, yeah, that has a lot more space. So let me just throw some random things in here for now. And then should we just try and build the apothecary table quick? Let me go grab that bark. And um, let's see, how big is this table? Ooh, yeah, I don't have room for it inside right now. <laughs> I don't know if it gets damaged outside. 
from what I've seen so far, it doesn't seem like things that are outside get damaged. I might be wrong though. I don't see any kind of damage to the stone cutter or chest. And it just went through a storm, so I don't know. But this apothecary table looks so cool. Look at this thing. <laughs> I love it. It's got the little candle for the heater. Oh man, that's cool. Okay, let's check these out. So we've got some poison resistance brew, um, some health elixirs. Oh, that's so cool. And even some stamina tonic as well. Um, that requires some strawberries, which I don't have. Okay, but we do have options in terms of what we want, like the greater stamina tonic. Um, let me see here. This, it gives us 15 per second for 300 seconds. And the, oh, okay. And the stamina tonic here is a little bit less. So I guess we probably want the greater one. That one seems best. And we have everything for that in storage here. Oh, you know what? We used up all of our seeds to make the refined wood. So I guess we do not have everything. That's okay. Uh, it's not a big deal. I can put pretty much everything else away in storage for now, and then we'll worry about it later. All right, guys, so here's the plan. I'm thinking now that we are completely kitted out in stone armor, and we've got a bow and arrow, and then we've also got the flint sword. I'm thinking it's time to go and fight a certain beetle over here. I don't know how well it's going to go. I don't know how strong he's going to be. It's a rhino beetle. I don't know. Those things are absolute beasts. So um, I guess there's really only one way to find out. But um, I think we head down there and uh, we just give it a shot. All right, guys, we're coming up on the rhino beetle right now. We just got to get around this big guy without setting him off. And um, then we're going to we're going to be in the battle. I really don't know what to expect. I don't really have any bandages or anything. Um, I suppose, you know what, before I, ju I just saw him. But before we um, jump in, let me put down a workbench right there. And let's see if we can craft some bandages quick. How about some healing patches? Yes, that's even better. All right. I think we're ready, guys. Look at that beast right there. How am I going to fight this guy? Okay. Well, of course, um, to start, I guess we just... Wait, hold on. Before before we start, I'm going to eat a little bit. So hopefully I can uh, gain any health that I lose while I'm fighting here, at least passively. Look at that thing. He is huge. Now, I'm wondering if there's going to be any kind of... Any kind of weak points for this guy. I think we're going to have to take advantage of these rocks and everything and use them as kind of obstacles that might slow this thing down. But, all right. Um, here, he ran off into the distance here. I'm going to get up on this rock, and then we're going to start the fight. Hopefully it doesn't get too dark. I didn't realize how late it was. All right, here we go. 13. Oh, you know what? I don't think it's going to be that hard. Knock on wood. Oh my gosh, he's a beast. Okay, hold on. This might be... Oh, hold on. Oh, that was... Okay, that was okay. All right, where are you at, buddy? Is he up there? Where's he? Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on. I have to time our attacks or our, our, um, our dodges here. Okay, he... Oh my gosh. I dodged right at the perfect time. Okay, I'm not doing any. Oh, I'm not doing any damage to this guy right now. Oh, it's getting to be nighttime. No, hopefully it's not too hard for you guys to see. I think he's got some vulnerable points. I just don't know exactly where they are. Oh, he smacked me right there. Yeah, let's get our sword out. I'm gonna wait for him to attack. Okay. Go, 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 go. Okay. Ooh, he smacked me good right there. Here, let me uh, heal up a little bit. Ooh, yep. He got me good there. I think we're going to be okay if, we, uh, if we're just tactical. Ooh, we got to get the timing better, though. Ooh, boy, that one hurt. Okay, I got to go in now. Yeah, I can get in at least three, four attacks when he does that. Ooh, yep, he got me. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay, one more, one more good little uh, jab at him. Well, a couple more, but then I think we got him. Come on, buddy. Whoa. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, 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 I gotta wait. 
Right there, right here. This is gonna be it. Ah. Yes. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We got the rhino split horn. Oh my goodness. I did not think uh I didn't think it was gonna go that well. Um <laughs> I think I just overthink these guys way too much, but it does help so much that we've got this armor and the flint sword and everything. This flint sword's super good, and I'm really starting to get the the dodges down and everything that we need in order to, I guess, face these guys and and get in some decent combat. So I'm gonna run back to the treehouse. I'm gonna sleep until it's daytime so that we can see something, and um, then I'll go complete this mission with the horn. Oh, you know what, guys? I was on my way back to the tree encampment, but I just realized that I just have to bring it to Skady here. Or Skady, I'm not sure how to say that. But, um, and she's right next to me on my way up. So we might as well finish this. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot about the little home that we built here. It's good to know the campfire's still going. Alright, Skady. I brought you the rhino horn. You've done it. I recognize this horn. This beetle used to wander the swamps. I don't know how it found its way down to the beach, though. Wait, there's swamps around here? It attacked me on sight. Uh, this is very unusual. I suggest you visit Lysandra. She might have some insight into this matter, as she is an expert on the creatures of the swamps. Okay. Oh, before you leave, please accept this recipe as my thanks. Oh, hold on. Gecko treat. Okay, uh, I, fi I have found this gecko tree to be very effective in calming down the geckos on the beach. Once tamed, they could be very loyal companions. Okay, so that must be another one of the creatures that we are able to tame and uh, potentially mount, I guess. Oh, that is so cool. Alright guys, we have made it back to the base, the beautiful newly upgraded base. I really like the aesthetics of this, um, the whole wood aesthetics. I love the big uh, round door on it now. I think it all looks so cool. I think in a future episode we're going to do some upgrading to this, get some uh, extra levels going, get some more rooms, more space for everything that we have like the apothecary table and the future uh, workbenches that we're going to be adding into the base. But um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, that was productive. We got a lot done. We defeated the rhino beetle, which I didn't expect because that thing, that thing terrified me. But I think I overthink these things a lot. And I know in the beginning I questioned whether or not I wanted to turn on that peaceful mode, which would basically put all the insects to passive unless I attack them. But now that I'm kind of getting the combat down and I've got some armor on, I'm feeling a lot more confident about these fights. I'm taking out the ants left and right super easy, sometimes in one swipe with the, uh, with the flint sword. And um, it's just become a lot more fun to actually actually fight them instead of constantly running from them um so i think i'm gonna leave it where it's at right now i think that i think this is a good spot for it um yeah i can't uh, i can't wait to see what's next in the uh, in the next episode it's really up in there like i said we we could do some crafting and we can uh we're gonna be completing some challenges and and progressing the story a little bit to figure out what's going on and hopefully find that uh that key that was stolen. I think it was the clover key that was stolen. But either way, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know if you guys liked it, what you thought of it just in general down in the comments. If you did like it, please throw a like on the video. It really helps out, and I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you do want to see some more of this type of stuff. Um, I also stream this game every once in a while, and that's been a ton of fun. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Later. Thank you.